Hey Southern Mercantile, it's Roxy here. I'm coming to you from my kitchen today. I just wanted to take a minute to share a few of my favorite drink recipes with you today. The weather has been so pretty here. Um, that doesn't last long for us. So while the weather's been pretty here in South Georgia, we've been trying to sit outside, enjoy the porch, enjoy our patio. And I have found a few very simple drink recipes that we've really been enjoying. If you live in a small town like me, sometimes fancy cocktails can be intimidating. We don't have access to a lot of the ingredients that are listed in the cocktail books, but I just wanted to take a minute to share some favorites with you that are simple, easy, they don't require any weird ingredients. I got everything that we're using at my local package store and my local grocery store. So there's no reason why you can't sit on your porch and enjoy a fancy cocktail in a pretty glass and just have a beautiful evening. So let's get started with that and can't wait to share these recipes with you. Before we get started with our drink recipes, I just wanted to share with you a few handy tools that are good to keep and a few ingredients that I try to always keep. Um, so that way, if you are wanting to whip up a cocktail at the last minute or you have a neighbor pop over, you'll always be prepared to have something refreshing and special. Um, you will need to keep a shaker. A lot of cocktails, um, you're going to have to shake them up in a handy shaker with ice. If you don't have one, a mason jar works just as well as long as you have a lid that'll screw on tight. Um, it's also helpful to have a juicer. When I'm in a hurry, I just squeeze my fruit into my glass, but if you need a lot of fruit juice or if you want to do like I do and go ahead and squeeze your fresh juices at the beginning of the week so you just have them in the refrigerator, a juicer is handy to have. This one is my favorite. This is a vintage juicer my mom found for me, um, but it has a little tray inside that catches the seeds and it is quick, easy, easy cleanup. Um, this is another good option and we sell one very similar to this on our website that also comes with a handy measuring cup. So, um, juicer, shaker, and then you're going to need some sort of measuring tool that will measure ounces. Um, a lot of folks don't measure their liquor for their drinks. I measure my liquor for my drinks. Uh, I've learned that I have a heavy pour and my alcohol lasts longer if I'll actually measure it. So. Um, some ingredients to just keep on hand. I've just, every week when I go to the grocery store, I've just, I always buy an orange and I always keep lemons and limes. Um, so you're, a lot of drinks are gonna require citrus fruit. So those are good just to keep on hand. And then I've also started keeping sugar cubes. Not a necessity, but so much more fun than a spoonful of sugar. So those are just fun and handy to keep around. Um, my favorite, just standard liquors that I keep are bourbon, Matt loves rum, and then in the summertime, I just always want something a little more refreshing, so I keep gin, and then I try to keep a little simple syrup made in the refrigerator. If you whip that up, uh, simple syrup is just sh a sugar water. Um, it will last in the refrigerator for quite a long time. So if you have these few ingredients, you will be set to make a wide array of cocktails. So let's get started. The weather's been warmer, but still pretty here in the south. Um, and when the weather heats up a little and we're sitting outside on the porch, I just love a gin cocktail. In the winter, I'm more of a bourbon red wine girl. I just think those things are so warm and comforting. But when the weather heats up a little bit, I just want something a little more refreshing. So I'm gonna share with you a few of my favorite gin drinks. Um, the first one we're gonna start with is called an orange blossom. You can guess that it has fresh orange juice, um, but I love a citrus drink. There's just something so cool and refreshing about it. So for the orange blossom, you will need one and a half ounces of gin, one ounce of fresh squeezed orange juice, half ounce of a lime juice, and a half ounce of simple syrup. So let's get started. We're going to mix everything up in our handy shaker. So we'll start with our one and a half ounces of gin. You can add a little 
more. If you like your drink stronger, add a little less. If you don't like it as strong, we need one ounce of our fresh squeezed orange juice. Um, if I haven't taken the time to already squeeze all of my juices, um, then you can just take a really large orange wedge and squeeze it fresh in there. Um, like I said in one of our other videos, I like to try to go ahead and squeeze all my juices early in the week after I go to the grocery store so they're just in the fridge and ready. But if you don't get to that, it's not a big deal. Just squeeze a big hefty um, wedge into your glass. Next, we need the half ounce of lime juice. And half ounce of simple syrup for a little sweetness. Just a reminder, simple syrup is really easy to make up. It's just a sugar water and it will keep in the refrigerator for a long time. So you'll just have it when you need it. And I should have told you already, this recipe for the orange blossom is coming from our Southern Cocktails cocktail book, which is available on our website. Um, so we have all of our ingredients in the shaker. We're gonna pop that lid on tight, give it a good shake. And I've already got a couple of cubes in our little glass. These really pretty etched glasses are also available on our website. And Tara and I both have them. We just love these glasses. They're some of our favorites. Such a pretty color. And we're gonna garnish that with a little orange wedge. And you are ready to sit outside in your lawn chair, watch the kids play, and enjoy a refreshing citrus drink. Another quick and easy gin drink that you can whip up at home at the last minute is called the Gin Ricky. Um, it is very simple. You just need gin, lime juice, and club soda. And I keep those things at all times. I chose a very cute green glass for this drink. You are going to need one and a half ounces of gin, the juice of half a lime, and club soda to top it off. Um, this is very similar to a gimlet. If you prefer a sweeter drink, a gimlet is just like a gin ricky, except you're going to use simple syrup um, instead of the soda, or I would use it in addition to because, as I have told you before, I love a bubbly drink. If it's got fizz, I'm in. So let's get started with our gin ricky. You're going to just put your one and a half ounces of gin. This one's a little strong. I would probably just make it with one ounce. Who am I kidding? I would make it with one and a half ounces. I'm gonna guess on the juice of half a lime here. We're gonna top this off with our bubbly club soda. It's kinda like a grown up limeade. And Top it with a lime wedge. Perfect for the pool or watching the kids play in the sprinkler. Perfect for last minute guests. Really quick and easy to mix up the gin ricky.